Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be going over stars. Yes, how many stars it's gonna take for you to upgrade your hero. It goes from one star all the way to six star. I'm gonna give you that juicy information. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Hey hello everyone, yeah, smash the like, comment and subscribe for more daily videos with me, Miss Sneaky, the one and only, and we're here back on Call of Dragons, and I thought why not give you guys the best guide to stars, right, how many stars does it take to upgrade a hero, and then at the end of this video I will just showcase a little bit of ways of gaining stars as well for your account, so simply this is one hot question because everyone wants to start the hero and it is honestly a very, very steep cost. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop up right here a quick little infograph. This will be available on my official Discord. You can join through the link below in the description. And obviously if it doesn't work, let me know. I will just post a brand new one in the comments so you guys can join. And it will be available there for you. And with this infographic, it's just going to showcase some very simple information. How many you know points you're gonna need to go from one star then the second star third fourth all the way fifth to the sixth right so if we do get that information your basic actual you know one starts where you start off at the first upgrade is going to be 500 it's gonna be 500 points and what that means is pretty simple every time you go to your hero and you go to press this one star you will get 100 points so this is the amount of star points required right to go up each level so the first one you're going to need is 500 points that's only five stars so technically if you needed to this five would level them up straight away which is really nice the next one which is going to be your three stars is going to be 1500 so that's 15 stars nothing too crazy at all then when it goes to the four stars this is when you're going up now into the star ratings because this is when you start gaining some good stuff right it's where you get your final skill unlock which is very powerful for your character obviously gives you all of that damage this is going to be 27,100 points when you're going up from that four star to this fifth star, right? So it's 10,000 for the fourth, 27,100 for the fifth star. So you can see where this is starting to go because to get the final six star, and this is the big and nasty one, it is 55,600 star points required. So I know I've said a lot of things there, and you're probably wondering, what does this mean? It means at level three, if you want to go from level three to level four, it's going to take you 100 stars minimal. This is not including any of the stars potentially critting and giving you that two times bonus when you're going through this whole process on top of this this also includes obviously on five stars it's going to cost you 271 stars and then obviously at six stars it's going to be 556 so if you're wondering how many stars in total it's going to cost you to get your hero from four stars from to five and six in one go it's actually going to cost you a roughly amount of 82,700 points which is 827 stars so just remember while you're doing this you could crit so this is the maximum it's going to cost you to basically do it if you are super unlucky and never get in a single crit but any type of crit you're going to do is obviously going to reduce this number down which is obviously really really important so in total the actual total amount from the infograph which i'll pop back up on screen right now is going to showcase 94,700 so in total to get any hero from zero basically to maximum stars it's going to cost you 947 stars so just remember that really really insane and what we're going to do is actually go into it right because we have awakened our synodron which is really good and we're going to actually max him out today we're going to go on to the start rating we've got 500 99 stars so that's 600 there 
but we still have these 300s and these 1000s. So we're obviously going to use these 1000s first. And what you can do is a couple of things, right? You can obviously auto select which people try to do. This is like a big no go for me. What I would try to do is actually just use one at a time, right? If you use one at a time like this, it's actually, it takes longer, but it does allow you to ensure, you know, if any of these are going to crit, you get the maximum crit on each single star, right? So already we're going to go through that promotion. That is our final star in. And it's going to put our six in now. So this is where we just kind of jump out and we're going to keep hitting the promote button, right? And this obviously it does take a long time to do, but you can see now the crits going in, right? Up at the top right corner, you're getting 300 and then 600 crits. So you can already see I'm benefiting massively from doing this strategy. I'm already 22% all the way through, all the way to finally 25 percent and now i'm on this final one so what i'm going to do is the exact same thing we've got basically one to go all the way to get our six stars so let's see if we make the whole shebang can we make six stars because this is going to showcase how you know lucky and unlucky you can be with your times bonus but you can see i'm actually getting not too bad on here right already 30% off on the way through double back to back times two there which is great to see right and this is how easy it is right and it will take a little bit of a time and you know what just for you guys because i know you've got the attention span of a you know child i will skip time and use my time prowess powers to get it towards near the end where we're at obviously either zero stars or six stars i can't believe it man i'm on 95.27 percent i've still got 290 stars boys let's go so we're definitely gonna hit this so if you guys have been tracking it did take me about i don't know i'll say five minutes to actually spam click this all the way through but we did start on um i think around 30 30 or 20 of the 300s, right? 10 of the 1000s. And then six, 599. 599 on our boy. So we've saved and we've landed on 269 final gold stars. And with that, six starred our syndrome in the guide as well, just to showcase it all off for you and that is how you basically start up a hero and all of the information you're gonna need to obviously you know how many stars it requires to go up all the way so with this how why this is important obviously now i have that five percent built in defense penetration so now on the next hero i might be working on maybe it could be my frega or maybe my you know canara my expertise and then make her six stars it means if I ever have two six star heroes together, the star passives are going to stack. So it will give me that 10% attack resistance and 10% defense penetration because of the Kanara and like the Sinjon both being six star, right? So if you are wondering the way to get some stars, obviously a lot of people will tell you, obviously events, right? You could be running in these different events here. You can see already by just using and just playing in events, you're gonna get a bunch of stars in the game. On top of this, you can also, which what I do now, because obviously I have the ability to, you can go into your campaign, hit the dragon trial. Once you've completed your indies, you're able to obviously not worry about it anymore. And with your nice amount of stacked coins, you can basically spin through here, looking basically for gold, stars right it's 25k for a star and it does increase each time so if you do find the two stars it's going to be around 50k and i think it goes all the way up to 75k for the third and final one um so just you can get stars through here another good way you can get gold stars if you are not obviously that far on with your in this but you are obviously in the game 
pushed on with your epic heroes, you can scrap your heroes, right? So just remember to keep updating and coming into this area, hitting the confirm button straight away so you can just quickly scrap away everything else which isn't your epic hero tokens just in case they bring some brand new ones out and what you can do is come straight here right you can buy 10 of these it's 800 coins so why not do that get yourself 10 legendary medals straight away which is really great you can also buy more legendary medals with your merits so yes you can see i've got 99,000, and here is one medal already 40% off so you can buy these in the merit store you can also get them in the weekly part of the merit store too so if you are definitely looking for gold stars to upgrade your heroes there's some more options for you and there is a lot of other different ways right you can go into the goblin market sometimes down at the bottom here you can buy gold stars for resources as well as doing any of your scouting in the early game i think you might be able to get a couple just as a reward but not too many but that is it guys that should give you all the information now on gold stars on heroes how many gold stars it takes to upgrade a hero where you can find gold stars and the benefits of obviously having a five slash six star hero in call of dragon so if you enjoyed today's video you know what to do smash a like comment and subscribe and until the next video stay safe stay sneaky peace out